really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's going to blow your mind. This is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> this is our little device. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. All you can see afterwards is that there's a tiny scar. And if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a neural link right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. Will you be able to save and replay memories in the future? Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you will be able to save and re replay memories. I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Um, but, uh, well, I guess they're pretty good at predicting. I guess they're pretty good at predicting. Can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. With, with this implant, you can actually uh, th think, just, just by thinking, you can output words, and you can, you can type, and you can control a computer, control a phone, uh, which is pretty, pretty wild. Elon Musk shows off Neuralink brain implant. Brain implant. During a live streamed presentation at Neuralink's headquarters in Fremont, California yesterday, CEO Elon Musk unveiled the titular implant and offered a demonstration of what it could do. Designed to enable man and machine to work together, Neuralink has been described as an answer to the existential threat of an artificial intelligence surpassing our own capabilities. In practical terms, that means it will have the capacity of enhance various human abilities, as well as to serve as a way to treat various illnesses and neurological disorders. For yesterday's demonstration, Musk introduced a trio of pigs, one of which having been fitted with the Neuralink implant, one of which having no implant, and the other having had an implant that had since been removed, thus indicating that the device could be taken out safely. The beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head, said Musk. He also hinted that in the future, the implant could even make it possible for people to replay their own memories inside their head like something out of an episode of Black Mirror. So this new brain implant looks like it does have some advantages, but it's kind of scary because it's one step closer to, looks like to me, being able to mind control humans, basically. It reminds me of a video game called Deus Ex. And in the video game, partway through it, they offer you a brain chip upgrade for free in the game. And if you take the free upgrade, later on in the game they use it against you to disable you. And you guys know what they say, the technology they show us is usually 20 to 50 years ahead behind closed doors. So let me know what you think about this whole story. It looks like there's some hope for people with certain problems and that's good. But as always, anything in the wrong hands could be bad and turned bad. So, alright, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for checking this one out. Much love. Really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. All of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, um, the pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. But these can all be solved with an implantable neural link. This is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> this is our little device. Uh, it does, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. All you can see afterwards is that there's a tiny scar, and if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a Neuralink right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. So, uh, and it, it's also got all, all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, r related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. It's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. Um, yeah, maybe that's not a great analogy. Um, anyway, so it's also inductively charged. So um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So in terms of getting a link, essentially uh, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull. Then the robot inserts the electrodes. 
uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we basically close that up with actually super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed. So this is our surgical robot, and we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing the, the skull, inserting the electrodes, placing the device, um, and then um, closing things up. And we're making good progress towards clinical studies. Um, I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, uh, thanks to the hard work of the Neuralink team. So we will make this uh, as safe as possible. Um, you know, just as with, with Tesla, while it is legally possible to ship a one-star car, at Tesla, we, the only cars we make are five stars in, in every category. Uh, so uh, we, we actually maximize safety and we'll take the same approach here at Neuralink. So we'll do live Q&A. Uh, so bring in a bunch of people from the Neuralink team. Will you be able to save and replay memories in the future? Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you'll be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode, um, but, uh, well, I guess they're pretty good at predicting. Over time, we could actually give somebody supervision, uh, like you could have like uh, ultraviolet or infrared uh, or see and radar and actually have uh, superhuman vision. Can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's a definite 100%. Carlos, that is the answer. With, with this implant, you can actually uh, think, just, just by thinking, you can output um, words, and you can, you can type, and you can control a computer, control a phone, and, uh, which is pretty, pretty wild. Any estimate of how much it will cost at launch and what price it will reduce to over time? Well, I, I think at, at launch, it's probably going to be... It, it, I would say that's not really representative because um, at first I think it's, it's going to be you know, quite expensive, but that price will very rapidly drop. Um, and I think over time we want to get the, the cost um, obviously down as low as possible, um, but I think um, I inclusive of the automated surgery, I think we want to get the, 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 the price down to a few thousand dollars. Thank you very much.